How you doing? Good, I hope. I got uh, gas. Actually, pass, really. Let me explain. Gas is known among musicians as gear acquisition syndrome. Whereas you just see a piece of gear, anything, uh, a pedal for a guitar player, a new cymbal for a drummer, whatever the case may be. And like, oh, I got to get that. That's for gear. That's for gear. Now that's gas. So pass is plug-in acquisition syndrome because that's what I have because I, I, I see things. No, I'm not, not in that. Uh, I see plugins. <laughs> I don't see things. Spirits. Um, and um, I, I want to get them because they're free most of the time. And I think they're just great, um, great deals, I guess. And there are some. Now, I'm not here to pitch any plug-in boutique, but there's one that's actually called a plug-in boutique. You can get it online and they send a newsletter. You can ignore most of what's on there. There's great, there's a lot of very good rebates. And, and sometimes you see like, you know, free plugin here, free, free plugin there. So that's what I've done. And I found a number of them that I wanted to show you because I think they are, they're a nice complement to your overall plugin artillery, so to speak. So let's go not here, but here to Reaper. There's my Reaper. Uh, I've got a bunch of things lined up for you today. Um, where shall we start? We shall start here. This guy here is a plugin called Collab B3. As you can see, it's an organ. It's an organ that's not playing because of course, uh, why should it work the first time? It doesn't because I haven't. Very plain, right? But I think it sounds good. And the advantage for this one is, uh, where is it here? Got a, you got a few factory settings. I guess you can get more add. You could probably make your own. I'm not going to do that. Here I've got grand organ, which is a church organ, which you can recognize. Um, it's very simple and you can play, you, you can play around with those knobs, which are basically the voices. If you've ever seen a, a real organ, that's actually what, what they do. They, they, they pull these things to open the pipes or to shut them down. Um, you have a few settings here on the left. You have the leakage, which kind of uh, makes the organ sound, sound old, which can be nice. You have a volume knob, which I always turn all the way up. There's a reverb. Now, the reason why I'm not using this reverb is because I want to get you a nice reverb, another free one. And by the way, of course, this one is free, completely free. Um, and there's a few percussion things for when you hit the, uh, the keys. So, you know, does the job, right? For me, I think it does. And it's a nice, nice, very simple organ. So for all these uh, songs where you need a church like organ now, mind you, uh, if you go to jazz basic, it's not going to sound the same. It's a bit. So it's nice. It sounds it's, it sounds really cool. Um, and uh, what, what you can see here, this is where collab sits. Uh, let me shut this, close this down. I've added a reverb. Now this is this one is called Oral River. Now the plugin may seem daunting at first, and that's OK. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of details during this this video when you have a river plugin there's a few things you need to look for well okay here we have the chance of having presets which is awesome most plugins now do this because people can't be bothered um, so i chose cathedral 2 for obvious reasons why because that's a church organ i have set and i want to see how it sounds like now if we go here you see here on the left it says dry that's the amount of sound we want in 
usually you have dry and wet. So you have dry on the way on the left, as you can see here on the left, I'm showing on my screen, you won't see that on the left and you have all on the right, you have wet signal, which is how much of, of the reverb we want in the signal. And you can really play. Now the in is how much sound of the total sound am I going to put into the reverb? This allows you to have the reverb on less of the sound than the full sound. What do we want to look at? Um, we want to look at the room size here, this knob. Okay. So large room, no room or very small room. So it was about 75 here. Okay. That's the room size. Diffusion is the kind of diffusion material you would have like stone, for example, for cathedral is going to be really different from concrete or from wood for that matter. Wood has a very high, uh, uh resonance. I mean, uh, absorption, absorption. Where a stone is a bit more reverberating and the worst would be like a uh, bathroom for example uh, so here you can play with these two decay time is the one you look for so here you, you, see, you see letters like er this is early reflection so it's how is the sound playing or diffusing off of the objects around you so if you're in a church for example well, your early reflections are going to be very different than because there's not a lot of them. Uh, however, what there is a lot of is decay time. Decay time is like the long tail of the reverb. So let me show you. So here I have my Collab B3, but I think I've got it set on. Yeah, I'm, I want to go to Grant Organ here. All right. Good. Now, what I want to do, I want to turn on here, the reverb. All right. All right. So let's play without the reverb first and we'll add the reverb. No reverb. All right. Church. Can you hear? That's the tail. This, this sound that goes on for long, that's the tail. And that's controlled by the decay time. So if you want a long, long tail, you can have some more. If you want shorter, you just pull this down. Okay. So those are the controls you want to look at. One that's easy to understand is width. Now you see width is all the way out, almost all the way out. Now width is, is where is the reverb going to be in the stereo field? Now, if you listen carefully, If you listen with headphones, you can hear that the, the, um, the reverb actually fills the whole spectrum, which is, you know, nine, 96 here. Okay. If you put it zero, the reverb is going to be right down the middle. You hear that? Now this is for a cathedral. You obviously don't want that. Okay. Maybe a hundred, but you know, it doesn't matter. All right. So. Now, you see the tail might be a bit too, too much, but I can go, I can get the full sound in. Now, if I would do this, that might be a bit too much. So you can play around with how much of the reverb you want in your signal. Okay. That's really cool. You see here, early reflections, reverb. And when and when you when you click on the button it actually disables it okay so you can say i don't want any of the early reflections i just want the tail or i don't want the tail i just want the reflections so it's really weird because when you, when you press the keys the early re re uh, reflections come in so it makes the sound a bit bigger but since you have no tail it shuts it down now it's all taste Okay. Now, because it's a cathedral, we want the long tail. All right. That was collab and oral river. Um, another one I got also free synth master. Now synth master, uh, bear with me a quick second because, uh, where is it? Is this one? Yeah. All 
All right. If you have a lot, and I say a lot, I mean a lot of presets, like a whole lot. Guitars, keys, lead. <sighs> Oh, this one's got a nice little pong pong, ping pong. It's got a huge chorus. Okay, so adding reverb to this would, um, you can you can do it, but it's it's going to mess the sun. So let me find something that might be a bit more like percussion. Oh, maybe some nice percussion. Do you have any? Nice. You can mess around the chorus. All right, I'm not going to go into it all the details because the video is going too long. Um, so let's, that's the basic sound. Let's call Oral River here. And I have it medium hole. All right, so no reverb. With reverb. Nice, isn't it? Gives a little shimmer. And you, you can mess around with a lot of the other controls, which I will go into more detail another time. Um, now, Synmaster, the nice thing is there's a lot of presets and you can kind of see here, you say, chill out. Um, why not? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So synth master free again, and, and really that's for people because you can make those sounds yourself. A lot of them. The problem is it's kind of complicated. Whereas here, there's a few basic knobs you can turn the velocity here, which tells you how the sound is going to come along. And here you can filter a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Let's take uh, chords, bluegrass. I don't think so. Oh, actually the ones where I have something are um, bold. There's also arpe arpe arpeggiators. So. so you have basic sounds. And you can you can tweak them. So that's really useful for a noob like me. So that was Synth Masters. Now, look at this jewel here. You ready for this? All right. Now, this is incredible. Spitfire Audio is a very well recognized British sampler, sampling company, sampler. And they have lots of very good products out there. Uh, I have two of them, both of them free. Now this is normally 49 euro pounds dollars, uh, but if you fill out a survey, you can get the thing free, free. It's a full orchestra. Now up to now, if you wanted a classical orchestra, you had to do bits and pieces and I've done this. And honestly, it's freaking painful. You got to load some samples in, you got to place stupid samples and it's just, it's just a mess. There's a few free ones like the Sonatina, which is free. Um, but I mean, nothing compares to this. And mind you, that's the BBC Symphony Orchestra. So it's not like my next door orchestra, which I have nothing against, but this is a real orchestra. <sighs> and it's just awesome. So we've got violins here. So it's got no reverb. Um, now, because I have crappy uh, MIDI controller, usually on the MIDI on the real one, you have mod wheels. Now, what the mod wheels will do is control these two knobs here on the left. One here, as you can see all the way down, is the expression. So it's the level of the technique. So here's long. So it's going to be how long it's going to be and how how drawn it's going to be. Now, this is long. You have spiccato, just kind of ta, ta. You have pizzicato, which is when you take the the, the string and then go boom boom. So 
Very nice. And you have Tremolo. So they go... So you have four articulations for free. And by the way, that's 14 violins right here. Oops, sorry. 16. 16 violins slampled. So on a mod wheel, you can control the expression, so the level of the, the technique and the dynamics, how it's going to go on. So you, you can... Now that's reverb. Now reverb, I'm not putting any, uh, any on because again, I want to test or river on a symphony orchestra. Now, what, what you would do is you would have as many tracks as you would have um, instruments. So yeah, it can, you know, you have, how many sections do you have in the classical orchestra? And you don't have all the instruments, by the way. You have most of them, but you don't have all of them. So you have violin, one. On green, green is the strings, okay? So one, you have violins, one, first violins. That's usually when the conductor comes in, he shakes someone's hand. That's usually the first violin of the first violins. He's like the captain of the team, if you want. So violins, one. Violins, two. 14 of them. Vio violas. Celli. And the basses. 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 <laughs> Bass. Bass in an orchestra? I don't think so. Basses. So you have five string sections. Then you have four winds look at that you've got on one end you got your tubas your bass trombones which is a nice addition most of the uh, free stuff usually doesn't have bass trombone and you'll hear it's a nice well actually it's a it's a very nice sound I like that. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. L let's sample all the uh, all, all the sounds. Violins one, violins two. Nice supporting sound. Again, you have spiccato, pizzicato, and tremolo. You have the violas, which are. A bit thinner. The cello. nice expression and the ba and the basses and the basses these go really low so that's really nice okay then what do you have you have the tuba Bass trombone. It's nice, big. You have your tenors trombone. And the trumpets, which are a bit more like meh, meh. And on the opposite hand, uh, and the horns, the French horns. Now, those are the ones that you can hear uh, in movies a lot. They're featured. When the hero is doing something heroic, usually you got some French horns in the back. So you got your horns. Then in blue... Your woodwinds, bassoon, clarinets, what a beautiful sound. Oboes, very well recognizable song.
You've got your flutes. Three flutes, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, here you have three of each, as you can see. Now the problem is that when you then you want to do a chord, three flutes, six flutes, nine flutes, 27 flutes, which obviously is not what, you know, if you play this in an orchestra, you'd have one note, one flute per note, but here you have three. So you have to pay attention. Another piccolo, which are known for uh, staccatissimo. Very nice. And on the back, the harp, percussion. <laughs> like that. You have uh, untuned percussion. So here you have just a, the, here you have the untuned percussion. Gong, why the hell not? So, seriously. And then the tune percussion, two little bells. Uh, I have to go a bit lower here. Isn't it nice? Marimba. Xylophone. And wait for it. Glockenspiel. That's insane for free, guys. So let's get some violins going. And let's add Oral River. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, let's add Oral River to the mix and see what happens. Where are we? So here I chose a large hole for obvious reasons. No hole. Very nice. You can do some great stuff with that. I mean, honestly, these plugins are just insanely good for free, especially this one. So go get it. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is um, here. I need you to stay new. The rest is getting old. See, that's my voice. It's pretty cool, huh? Of course it isn't. Um, that's a little... Um, I don't need to do that here. I need you to stay new. The rest is getting old. Now that the gold that shone around me only radiates Now, as you can see, you. I need you to stay new. It's pretty uneven. It to you. Stay new, stay new. I need you to stay new. The rest is getting old. Now that the gold that shone around me only radiates so For example, you. here, is he on the me? That shone around me only radiates to you which is fine really but in a mix when you have other instruments in the mix it's not going to cut it the voice is going to dip down below the instruments i mean not below but it's going to it might be masked by instruments so what you want is you want to make your voice pop up a little bit and the way you do that and you use a that's accusonus's version of a voice leveler it's actually a voice compressor so what does the compressor do well it's a couple of things the first thing it does, it can do, uh, is bring the volume of the highest peak down and then compensate and bring the lowest up, which means you go from a range like this to a range like that. So first, lower the peaks, then com compensate. So what this does is it reduces dynamic range, which means the voice will still have some variation, but is going to sit better on the mix. If the mix is like down there, it's gonna sit better. And that's very important. So here. Do you hear the stay? You, you can see here, you can see that here it's like boop. So what Accusonus did is they put it's a nice feature and 
the, the nice thing about this lever is it's got one knob. Well, you have options, but there's one knob. This one. And it's the level, basically, of compression, the level of how much you want to level the voice. So let's do none. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. I need you to stay new. Okay. And now let's put it on. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. Now listen to the me. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. Now, you see on the bottom here, the yellow is the process signal. So you can see it took your bits of singing that are too low, too soft, and raised it. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. I need you to stay new. It radiates through you. Stay new, stay new. I need you to stay new. The rest is getting old. Now that the gold that shone around me only radiates through you. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. I need you to stay new. It radiates through you. Stay new, stay new. I need you to stay new. Now, those of you, if you listen carefully, where it's supposed to be punchy, it you, you, you can feel the compressor working. Say, so, you no, know, shut up. Not too, not too strong, not too high, not too... Um, uh, loud so it's too much 100 percent processing is too much on, on this voice so and you can just go and say you know how much do i want to put and if you put less what happens you can see in yellow down here very very subtle now you might ask yourself why my using this because what this plugin doesn't do is okay let's let's put a zero and let's not put the thing on oh, standard around me only radiates through you i need you to stay new and now i'm turning this thing on oh that shone around you see wow it sounds better you. I need you to stay new. It why does it sound better because it's louder so you have to match the levels you can't compare this. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. With this. Oh, that shone around me only radiates. Because anything louder will sound better. I had talked about that with EQ, so don't do it. So, which is why you have to compare oh, that levels. Shone so. Around me only radiates through you. I need you to stay new. Right. Oh, that shone around me only radiates through you. I need you to stay new. It radiates through you. Right, that's stay better. New, stay new. You see, the level stays the same. Stay However, what it does, the level is the same, but all the quieter bits are actually raised up, so your sound will sit better. A few few things down here. What they did is, you see, when you take whatever's softer and sound and you raise it. You're going to raise everything that's soft, including and and and. So, in in order to avoid the the breath control, the when the singer takes air in, they added breath control where they can detect the breath and actually instead of raising the breath, they just keep it down. So that's kind of nice. So I've done an example here. Good morning, America. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry, my voice is getting a little quieter. So. Good. A little quieter. Now that's a breath right there. All right, so. Let's uh, say, hey, let's go. Woohoo. Oh, you know what? I'm going really loud. Like, I'm, I don't have the right one engaged. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. Ya damn ass. All right. All right. Did you hear that? All right. Now I engage it. Full, full. And if I speak very quietly. Took a no. breath. You see, it didn't do it perfectly. There's still the beginning goes through. I would cut that. It's much easier. But it does lower the second. And if I speak very quietly. 
You don't, it goes, <gasps> and I'm going really loud, like super loud. Like I'm pretty much going to scream, damn it. And you see, I'm not screaming because it's keeping the things from going up. All right, so that, that's a nice example. Now, instead of doing this, and if I speak very quietly, you could keep it quiet. Now, obviously, because it's at zero, it's not matched to the previous sound at all. Okay, so you would have to do some level matching, but it functions really well and it's really easy to do. A lot of compressors have a lot of knobs and they're really confusing. So, and this one is free as well. So that's the voice leveler. Um, so all in all, great stuff. We've got a nice organ. We've got a synth master thing where you can get a whole bunch of sounds to start you up. Um, we've got the BBC Symphony Orchestra in our computer. All, right. all hundred and some musicians right down there uh, and a nice voice leveler for your uh, for your vocals so um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tour of my new toys uh, the song is moving along nicely I have to work on it today actually see where I want to go because I have I have uh, vocals but the song is too repetitive, so I'm going to have to make arrangements, change things, mix things up to make the song more interesting. So um, I'll let you know what's going on. Stay safe. Bye.